What up, King Prince? Sending love your way, my way, and the planet's way. What's up, y'all? So today we're gonna talk about how the sun is actually AKA Jesus Christ, or how Jesus Christ is AKA the sun, okay? Jesus is the sun star, and as a matter of fact, if he's not the sun star, the second coming really means nothing, okay? So, what I'm gonna do here is break down some of the stories, or just touch on some of the stories in the Bible when it comes to Jesus, and then I'm gonna touch on how it lines up, where the sun is at, at what point in time during the year, okay? So, astronomically wise, the sun is actually born out of the constellation Virgo, which is AKA Virgin, Virgo, Virgin, so Jesus was born of a virgin. The sun is born out of the constellation Virgo, okay? Now, December 21st, which happens to be the shortest day of the year, the least amount of light, the most amount of darkness is all over the planet that day, right? The sun is in the constellation Southern Cross. So, the sun is crucified on December 21st because it's in the constellation Southern Cross. Now we know what happens to Jesus Christ inside the Bible. He's crucified, okay? Now, Jesus was put into a tomb after he was crucified for three days and three nights. The sun is in the bowels of the planet, okay? December 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, which is the winter solstice, all right? December 25th, the sun is reborn. This is the reason why people celebrate Christmas or celebrate whatever they celebrate on December 25th, okay? Now, 30 years after Jesus was alive, he went to go see John the Baptist, right? John the Baptist, baptism, AKA water. 30 days after the sun leaves the Southern Cross, it now enters the constellation Aquarius. Aquarius, water. John the Baptist, baptism, water. I hope this is making sense. Then Jesus went and chose his 12 disciples from fishermen, okay? So the next constellation that the sun goes into after Aquarius is Pisces, AKA the fish. Are you following me? Following me? If you are, this is like a blowing your mind right now, I hope. The sun then enters the constellation Aries, AKA the lamb, right? And what does it say about Jesus? Jesus became the Lamb of God to take away the sins of the world, right? Now, when the sun is in that constellation Aries, what is happening during that time? Winter is turning to spring and it's taking away the coldness of the planet, okay? Following me? So we're passing over from winter to spring. So soon will come summer, right? And what does it say in the Bible? That Jesus sat at the right hand of the Father, right? And then the next constellation that the sun is now going into is the constellation Leo. And what does it say about Jesus? Jesus became the Lion of Judah. And when you look in the sky during the summertime, if you're facing east, the sun sits on the right side. So everything that I just told you is either one big coincidence, which some of you guys most likely might tell yourself that, unfortunately, or <laughs> the story is talking about the sun in the sky, period, end of story, nothing else to talk about. All right. So 
So that concludes the sun cycle. It ends its cycle, the constellation Leo. So what you've just heard and what you've just learned right now is some high level shit, man. It's, it's really for adults. It's not for people who are closed minded and don't know a goddamn thing about the Bible, but they believe in it, right? They've memorized all these fucking Bible verses and they think that they're going to go to fucking heaven, right? Ah, wrong, man. So, you know, with that being said, the cherry on top to this story is... All right, so it's like, if that's the story, then what's up with the second coming, right? And if you if you peep my, my other videos, my other videos, I, I touch on the second coming and the white horse and how we have a white horse inside of our brain called the hippocampus and the whole nine, right? But the cherry on top to this story or to this lecture is two astronomers in the 90s found the second coming of the sun and it's a second sun followed by thousands of others okay so if you peep just type into google two switzerland astronomers find a second sun coming out of the constellation that's right you guessed it pegasus and it says those two astronomers describe what they seen in their telescopes as thousands of lights hovering like bees. And what does it say in the Bible? It says, followed by Jesus Christ on the white horse was thousands of other white horses. So do your homework, do your due diligence. The answers are right in front of us. Stop believing the bogus bullshit. Stop falling for the bullshit and open up your mind. Open up your mind. Think about it. Would they really want you to know the truth? They lied about everything else. But they're fucking telling the truth about religion. Come on, man. It's time to wake the fuck up. And that's like I always say, man. Don't go to church. Go within love.